let's um, now look at the in the dashboard. We then open a, a project so that we can show you some of the location systems concepts. And the easiest way probably to go to just the 3D view first. Let's go and see the manage models view. And then you'll see that there are more models in this example. Uh, we've got a skin on the building. We've got MEP. And we've also got different versions of some of these models. So you can see what's active. Um, point to note that models are coming from different authoring tools. So not just from one tool. Combining many different BIM platforms and being able to use the same location breakdown structure. So if somebody was, um, you wanted a schedule that had the architecture and structure in it, and you wanted it on the same schedule, and one person was using Archicad and one person was using Revit structures, then it would be easy to combine them and use the same persistent location breakdown structure. And as they updated their models, you would be able to use all of that data. So here we've got the building with a skin, and it's the same foundation, um, except for this. We haven't got the extended foundation, the version 2. Looks like they changed their mind and went back again. And now let's have a look at the locations that we have set up. So in Location Breakdown Manager, looking at the defined locations, we can then see an additional layer after the floors, which is our location systems layer. So I mentioned, describe how what we would like to do sometimes is divide the same physical space into more than one set of locations for a different trade. And in this example, we've got the second floor. And if we just isolated the, the second floor, we would see that there are many different um, types of operation within that floor that need to be split differently. So if we look at the superstructure, so the structure going up, we actually have two different locations, location A and location B. So these are two locations that we want to split quantities for in the, in the structural tasks. The exterior, we don't want to split it into two we actually want to split it into the elevations. So we've got the north elevation here. And obviously, if we just isolate the north elevation, we can see that we'll only get the, um, the elevation tasks, so the, the exterior, exterior envelope tasks uh, with those quantities. So it's really a powerful way and a very um, a necessary way if you're going to combine different models for the same scheduling tasks. In the MEP, we've got the west and the east sides of the building. So what that represents there is a floor in three breakdowns for three different systems. And obviously, they will appear at different times in the 4D playback. They'll have quantities from these locations um, in the schedule so that they are generating more accurate data at that level of detail. Uh, let's have a look at what it looks like in the 4D. So let's go to the Explore 4D and we'll see the same thing. So we hit the play button and then we can see, although that's maybe a, a bit quicker, but you can see the pile caps coming in, see the different locations for the foundation, but then two locations for the structure here, and then we'll see the exterior envelope going up in elevations. So pretty pretty powerful concept to use location systems also in combination with vertical and horizontal splits. 